Bill Caminos on your left, Logan Myers on your right, 11 and 3, 11, 2, and 1 of the respective records here. And for Logan Myers, it could be another top eight on the resume here. And this obviously on company deck is something he's been playing for quite a while. So, why do I think Bill? Oh, no, Bill. I don't think Bill has a lot of cards in his hand. Well, it looked like he just passed there on his first turn without a land at all. That's why I don't think Bill has a lot of cards in his hand. He has five of them. It's not very many. He does not. I'm going to draw a card. Gas. <laughs> 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 you appreciate that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Scry the top, keep Masuva on top, copy your land is awesome. Sure. That is really good. And he probably has more lands in his hand. Yeah. But they're all bounce lands. They need another land first to facilitate yeah, them. Yeah, that is truly great. Turn one, Mulligan to, f Mulligan to five, turn one, go is phenomenal. Now, one thing about Logan's deck, you know, he's playing Obzom, but he doesn't have discard. You know, he doesn't have thoughts, he doesn't have Inquisition, any of that stuff. So he's more of the combo approach, more of the birthing pod esque approach. So he's got to work his way towards all of these creatures. There's a Malira. Here is a Viscerous here. Well, he's... Yeah, he's there. He's getting close to the combo. Yep. At least one of them. Now, what's great here is Bill has... He, he could kill Logan. Yes. This turn. Because he has Amulet of Vigor in hand. So yep. he has the potential to have a completely absurd turn, depending on what his hand looks like. Mulligan to five. Skip my first turn kill you on turn three. Yeah, well. We'll it's, see. There's Amulet. Oh, boy. How, how deep can he go? Gotta see if he's got a Summer Bloom. Oh, he has Summer Bloom? Oh, I think. It, it, that looks like a Summer's Bloom. Yeah, there's a... And he's got Summoner's Pact in his grip. There's Celestia's Sanctuary. There. Oh, oh, my. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, here's a Summoner's Pack. There's a Prime Time. Yep. He's made this look. Yep. There, Vesuva, copy the Celestial Sanctuary three times. That's six mana. There's Primeval Titan. This is just... It's fair. It, that's the word I was looking for, actually, so thank you. I was yep. having difficulty finding the word. Uh, Boros Garrison and... Slayer's Stronghold trigger. Here comes Primeval Titan. Go get a Simic Growth Chamber, perhaps, and something else. I love this. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. I, yeah. I, I'd be, be lying if I wasn't. N not to say that I'm happy that Logan's on the receiving end of it. <laughs> yes. But yes. J just watching what people can do in a game of Magic. We were talking about decks we could never make. This is another one. Oh, ne never. The test is when some, if someone were to hand me a deck list, I would look over it. What my reaction would be, if someone handed me this deck list, I looked over it, I would rip it up. I, I would be so confused. Yeah, I'm like, what is this? I don't understand what the joke is. And then they they play me with it, and then I go, this is the best deck I've ever seen. Yep. That's what would happen. Here's an Ancient Stirrings. Another Amulet of Vigor, Sunholm. Remember, Bill just passed on his first turn, just, <laughs> just in, case, in case you're just joining the broadcast. Maybe he did that just to try to keep it fair. <laughs> so at one point, he had no lands. Yep. He has one blue mana floating right now. Took an amulet. Here's the Serum Visions. No mana floating. Draw a card. Scry two. Logan is just at seven now, so that's also a thing. <laughs> so, you know, just, let's not forget about that. Probably dead next turn. But he is going to have a shot here. Absolutely, he could infinite. He could infinite damage. Yep. Infinite damage next turn. Infinite life. Yep. Infinite damage. Now it is worth noting, Bill did play Summoner's back last turn, so he makes to make sure he doesn't forget to pay for that, and that's why he has to die on top of his deck. Logan with the Gavney Township. Now, again, if he has Murder's Red Cap, it, it's all over. There's a Spell Skite. I think he might have Red Cap in hand. No, if he had Red Cap in hand, he could just cast it. So I, yeah, I think he would have just played yeah, the Red Cap. Never mind, I take it all back. 
Uh, option A, win the game. Yeah. <laughs> option B, don't win the game. Don't win the game, yeah. Mm, give me a little from option B, please. Yeah, ignore me. Ignore let let me. me see what that tastes like. <laughs> Looks like Spell Sky. Yeah, the Black Card's Viscerous here. Uh, he, he's basically just deployed some Trump blockers here. The nice thing about Spell Sky is it will stop Slayer Stronghold, yep. Sun Home as well. Hive mind the draw here. Summoner's Pact is something that Logan would be able to pay for. We'll see. It. Bill has the land to transmute for a zero casting cost card. Yeah, Tolaria West. So it's possible he can, he can win through Pact of Negation with the hive mind out. Yep. This is another amulet. There'll be a mana floating. One red. Let's see what comes next. A lot to think about with this deck. So many different iterations and way you can go. Yeah, especially once you get the double amulet out. Yeah. The amount of mana that you're cranking out is, uh, well, it's certainly something. Yeah, but but it's not infinite. It's, yes. It's, it's not like you can just go all willy-nilly, stop paying attention. And if you do make a mistake, it'll probably cost you the game. Yes. Here's Vesuva. Going to copy Simic Growth Chamber. That'll trigger untap twice. So he's going to have uh, two green, two blue floating. Along with the red. And so now he's got to pick up a land. So he'll pick up Vesuva. Use a green and a red. And there's Summer Bloom. Oh, jeez. Yep. Vesuva again on Simic Growth Chamber. So four blue, three green. And the other die is tracking how many more lands he can play for the turn. Mm -hmm. So do this again. I like that he's going through it very clearly, too. Yes. I think that's really important in situations like this. Well, I, I like the mana markers that we have now. Yeah. It makes it clear for the players and for the audience. Tolaria West going to be transmuted. So four blue, four green floating. Summoner's packed. One land left to play. And he probably doesn't need to shuffle a whole lot if he's just going to resolve the Summoner's pack here. This is true. There's Hive Mind. No mana floating. Titan. Looks like he might be going Simic Grow Chamber plus Teleria West again. Yep. Those will come in from Titan. But under the battlefield tap, there will be a bunch of triggers from Amulets. A lot of mana again. Yep. Yeah, this deck is just a peach. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's really something. It's really something. And he's playing his last land for the turn. Yep. Copying a Simic Growth Chamber. Transmitting the Teleria West. One green mana floating. I think it's safe to get a Summoner's Pact or a Pact Negation here, either one. Yep. And two Summoner's Packs means that Logan would have to pay for two Summoner Packs on his next turn. So, you get one of these. You get one of these. And Logan, if you can pay 
four green and four colorless, you do not lose the game. <laughs> That's how this is going to work. This turn, you don't lose the game. Yeah. This coming turn. Well, this is interesting. Logan playing on here. <laughs> I'm, uh, even I'm shocked. Yeah, and, and it looks like Bill is saying, what are we doing here, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can search all day for your creatures, yeah. but I'm going to pass the turn, and yeah. then you're going to have to pay for two packs. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is it possible Logan can kill him in his upkeep with the packs in the stack? I, okay, I, don't, I didn't think it was, but with the way that he grabbed his deck, I was thinking, okay, maybe there's some sort of backdoor way I don't even know about. And, and maybe Logan was just double-checking. Sure. Either way, Bill Caminos is going to win game number one here over Logan Mize. Amulet Blue up a game over Rob's on company. Keep a track. And I, I, mold a five. No permanent on turn one. Just say go. You know what that reminds me of? Ben Rubin. Chill. You know that story, right? Tell me the chill story. No, he just, on turn one, I think he mulliganed a six against Red Deck wins in the finals of a Grand Prix. Just passed because uh, the Chromox in his hand, but no land. Okay. And then he drew a land, played a, played a chill on turn two, and then the Red Deck was kind of shut out from there, got the job done. So oh, yeah. just the old, uh, the old turn one go ahead. Sure. Here from Bill Caminos, then Vesuva off the top, copy your land, thanks for the help. And from there, a uh, turn three, in theory, turn two Titan. Nice deck as we take a look at the sideboard here. From Logan, four Voice of Resurgence, two Path to Exile, two Abrupt Decay. Oh, then Vala, Keeper of Silence, and Orzhov Pontiff, and Avon Mind Sensor, and Eilon of Rhetoric. Scavenging Ooze, Kwasali, Pride Mage, Burrington Forge Tender. Craig, we need some help here. Oh, yeah. So he's going to want to try to fight the Amulet of Vigors if he can. So we'll probably see the Abrupt Decays come in. I'm not so sure about the Path to Exile. By the time Primeval Titan comes down, attacks, it's, it's already too much. So it's questionable if the Path to Exile is good enough to bring into the deck. The Aven Mind Sensor to stop the searching, most certainly coming in here. Other side of things here for Bill Caminos. Three Seal of Primordium, three Pyroclasm, three Thrag Tusk, two Swan Song, a Dragon Lord Jamoka, a Hornet Queen Engineer Explosives, and a Mortuary Mire. What do we like here? This is a strange matchup. Um, Logan is playing very straightforward, just creatures. It's possible Bill will make very few changes to his deck, depending on what he, he thinks is going to come out of Logan here. Yeah, I don't think he needs to change too much. So sometimes you see players go to Thrag Tusk, Dragon Lord Jamoka, Hornet Queen against Jund. Mm -hmm. Um, but against what Logan's trying to do, because Logan can infinite combo, I don't think that's appropriate. And so I, outside of Pyroclasm, don't really think he needs to change too much. Sure. Personally. But one man's opinion here, as these players do sideboard and get ready here for game numero dos. And, and even if Bill wasn't 100% 100 sure what Logan was on that game, he saw the Viscerous Ears. You're only playing those when you're trying to combo out your opponent. For sure. For sure. You see Viscerous here, you see Malera. And also, if you keep track of Logan and what he likes to play, yep. uh, you know that he's playing Obzon Company. So uh, let's discuss regionals, I suppose, which is a tournament coming up uh, sooner than you think, of course. Now, you, you like this playmat. I really like this playmat. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, I, I like the phases of the moon in the background. Okay. Uh, the Cerberus. The color scheme, I, I don't know, I, I think it's a gorgeous playmat. I think it's a fantastic playmat as well. The way that you can go about getting this is at our regional championships. Now, regional is a pretty important tournament. First and foremost, this playmat and the token, free exclusive to the first 200 players that do sign up for their regional. And as I did mention, it's a pretty important tournament, especially if you're looking to qualify for the players' championship. As the only way to get SCG points nowadays, it's in our opens that we're watching Bill Caminos and Logan Mize play in. It's in our classics that take place on Sunday of our weekends, and it takes place at regionals as well. Now, of course, there are some cash associated with this and the SCG points and qualification to our Season 1 Invitational, as well as our other Invitationals, and we have more regionals for you guys but you get cool play mats you'll get cool tokens and as you'll see here in the next slide the locations have been announced so go .starcitygames.com slash regionals for more information find the locations cl closest to you february 6th plant your flag become a regional champion that cash is nice the points might be more important for some people for some people it will be more important yeah the chase is certainly on. We've seen some some players form teams now. Yep. Team Lotus, Chris Anderson, Andrew Tenjim, and a bunch of guys have decided they're going to um, make the travels around all year long yep. for the SCG Tour. Not season long. Yeah. Year long. All year long. That's a commitment. Uh, I know that we'll see a lot of the Roanoke crew. Yep. Todd Anderson, Jerry Thompson, Brad Nelson, Michael Majors, Ross Merriam, a lot of those guys. And, of course, players like Eric Hawkins, Matthew Tickle, and a lot of players that we saw last year as well. So... 
I know regionals will be a very well attended event, and we can make sure you can get signed up now. Be one of those players that does get one of those awesome mats. As we get ready here for game number two between Amulet Bloom and Obzon Company. Bill Camino is someone that when we do come to this area, uh, he has been known to make a deep run in a tournament. I think this is the deepest that he's gotten. And Amulet Bloom is a pretty powerful weapon of choice. Sure, he, he looked very competent with the deck. That I'll give him, yeah. yeah. And I think in situations like that, um, Again, we kind of noticed, we kind of pointed out how he was playing a little bit slower and communicating really well. Yes. You know, when, when you're in a winning position, it's easy to get kind of hasty. Yes. Because, you know, you're just like, oh, I've got the win rolled up. Can we just not go through this? But it, this particular deck is very confusing. So I really appreciate the fact that he was going through it pretty slowly, not only for our benefit, but yep. for Logan's and his as well. Lots of clarity. Yeah, that's really important, I think. Both players going to take a look at the opener here. Logan will be on the play. Bill winning on a mulligan to five with nothing to do on the first turn of the game. I love it. Love it. Horizon Canopy and a Noble Hierarch here for Logan. Looks like a land-heavy hand here for Bill. There's an amulet off a of Slayer Stronghold. It does look land-heavy, but he has an amulet. He has the Teleria West to transmute, and that's really all he needs to get going. Yep. For Logan, we know he has access to Abrupt Decay on the sideboard, so he does have answers to an amulet. But the pressure is on him in a big way, always, against yeah. this deck. Yep. They can kill you out of nowhere. Temple Garden's going to end the battlefield untapped. Logan going to fall a little bit lower, down to 17. Let's make it 16 from the Horizon Canopy. There's a Wall of Roots. And now, Spell Skype. One card that Caminos does have in hand is Azusa Lost But Seeking. Yeah, and, and that Azusa's really going to get things out of control here. Yep. There is Azusa. Two more land drops on the way. Players vary their numbers on how many of these they do play. For Caminos, he is playing two this weekend. It's just two, two backup summer, summer blooms. Yeah. There's a Slayer Stronghold, as well as a Sunhome Fortress of the Legion. Oh, and it, I don't know if you saw it. They even mind sensors in his hands? I did. It's a big deal here for Logan. So, yeah, it, if Bill tries to transmute, he might might just shut him down here. Yeah, he'll have to get pretty lucky to hit. Well, at least to hit a summoner's back. Absolutely. Camino will draw. I believe the Boros Garrison is what he's drawn now. But again, a pretty... Land heavy hand here for Bill. 27 lands in the deck, of course. The three is for number of land drops he has available. Some colorless mana floating right now. There's a Simic Growth Chamber. And the Sunhome will go to the grip. There will be two green mana floating. And here's an attempt to transmute Teleria West. Logan, I believe, is going to have a response. And he will. Here's Avon Mind Sensor. We'll see how Bill Caminos is running right now. <laughs> He'll only get to look at the top four cards. Well, and, you know, normally this would always get a Summoner's Pact. Mm -hmm. Even if he gets Summoner's Pact, he would only get to look at the top four cards again with the Pact. Yep. So this Mind Sensor is just a very effective way of attacking he the Bloom a, deck. He found a Colony Garden there. <laughs> Not the most exciting find. How dare you? And no one plant token. You're a big fan of plants. I am. Nothing to be ignored. All right.
their sun home. That's land number two for the turn. And Boros Garrison will be land number three for the turn. No mana floating. And now we're going to go back Logan Mines as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bill just got stonewalled by that Aven Mines. Yeah, it was a big deal. It really was. See what Logan can do on this turn now. Keep in mind, Logan missing black mana at this stage. Yep. Picked up a copy of Collected Company. Also has a copy of Court of Calling in hand, so he does have a lot of interaction. Spellsky doing a nice job of bricking off the Slayer Stronghold. Going to slow that down. The big question with this deck, right? We know the power level of Amulet Bloom is very, very high. We just saw that in the last game. Yep. But, you know, how does this deck stand up to resistance? How does it stand up to Avon Mind Sensor plus Spellsky? Yeah, the question right now is, did Bill bring in all of his Pyroclasms? If he, if he can peel a Pyroclasm, he might be able to just put himself right back into the game. Mm-hmm. But if he doesn't have it, looking at the top four every time you try to search is not going to be very effective. It, it's tough. Yeah. Court of Calling in the main phase. Top six cards here for Logan. Spellskite among them. There's also a Kitchen Finks and a Malira. So he's two-thirds of the way to the infinite life combo, has Viscerous here in hand, and actually has the ability to court a calling for Viscerous here. And we might see him do that right now. Yep. I'm a little bit surprised by this. Okay. Um, he didn't have to gain infinite life right now. So I, I think the thought process is the following. I'm going to gain infinite life. I can set up the top of my deck. Oh, sure. To find cord. Yeah, to find cord. And then win the next turn. Yeah, and then cord yep. for red cap. I don't think, in, uh, I'm in agreement to that. I don't think that infinite life does very much right now. Yes. But I think that this basically says I win next turn. Yes. Yep. Yeah, assuming that he did not board the red cap out, and now he's just going to... What he's doing there is shortcutting, setting the deck the way that he wants to, instead of doing it one at a time. Something you can't do very often in Magic. Yeah, correct. Go through your whole deck, put it back down in front of you without presenting it to be Cor shuffled or cut. Correct. Yeah. Oh, now look at that symbol. Hey! That's a first time. Infinite. You know, you brought a lot of first times with you here this weekend. I'm glad I could do this for you. Yeah. I gotta say. Our largest attended open ever. I can't believe it took me showing up for that symbol to happen. <laughs> Here's a transcript of Telaria West. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got there? Celestial Sanctuary? Eh, technically a hit. <laughs> you want to get technical. Yeah. yeah got a shuffle there. But... Camino knows he's in a world of trouble right now. Yep. You even see his hand right now. Summoner's packed over there. There's no hive mine. There is a sanctuary that he found. Going to pick up the Slayer Stronghold. That's land drop number one. A couple of lands there. No more lands to be played. No mana floating. Just going to simply pass the turn back. And I think if Bill didn't side in his Pyroclasm before, yeah. they'll be coming in real quick. They will be coming in for game number three. That's for, that's for darn sure. Logan, quarter call in the draw. The only thing that Logan has to worry about now is pack negation. Sure. On the off chance that Bill does have one of those in his hand. And even if that's in his hand, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I mean, he can just go through and set up his deck again. Mm-hmm. Which is the reason he got the Court of Calling instead of the Murderous Red Cap. Exactly. So here is Cord. Bill just says, show me the Red Cap so I can concede. There's the Red Cap. Infinite damage. Do we have an infinite damage sign for Bill? How does, how does that work since you brought the other the, one? The symbol looks like them sideboarding. 
Oh, okay, got it, perfect. So that is the symbol right okay, now perfect. on the screen. Got it, got it, okay. Bill Camino, Slocan Wise, they're all tied up here for game number two. We get ready here for game number three. Uh, Bill automatically going back to the Yeah, it looks like board. he went to the sideboard real yeah. quick there to get a few cards. If it was an issue, maybe he brought in like one or two power classes, something like that. They're all there now. Yeah. Now, I guess my question here, how do we feel about Swan Song? Can counter Cord, can counter uh, Collective Company, Path to Exile, uh, obviously can't counter Abrupt Decay, but uh, there are some instant speed things that it can do, and it feels like Logan's deck would board in mostly creatures, but some instant speed stuff. Sure. Uh, to me, Swan Song is a little bit too narrow. A lot of what Logan is doing should be slower than what Bill is trying to do. Okay. So, if Bill can get a Primeval Titan onto the board on turn two or three, he doesn't care nearly as much about the collected company that Logan might do on turn four or five. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think, I mean, Bill is the, what I would call the aggressor in the matchup. Yes. Even though he's not an aggressive deck, I would say he is the, he's the beatdown, as they say, in the matchup. He's just got to go absolutely nuts before Logan gets any of his stuff online. Yep. So him being on the play for game three is rather fortunate. We'll see if things do break that way. And also, adding the swan songs into your deck dilutes it that just that little bit more. Yep. To where it's harder to have those explosive starts. Very true. So we'll see how he elects the sideboard here, because I think the power classes have to come in. Yeah. And then, you know, the swan songs are negotiable. Uh, while these two players do sideboard up here, we're going to talk about the holiday sale here with Star City Games one more time as it does end today. So head over to StarCityGames.com for some last chance great deals. They know they can take that Lotus graphic off of there, right? I'm sure that's sold by now. Oh, that's, that's your Lotus. Honey, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. The Lotus. Understood. Well, what if what if I want the Lotus? I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sure it's already been ordered. Okay. Well, ignoring the Black Lotus. I'm willing to here. wager the Black Lotus <laughs> that it's already been ordered. Ignoring the Black Lotus that is here. Plenty of awesome holiday sales and great deals available to end tonight at 11:59 p.m. East Coast time. So head over to StarCityGames.com. Be sure to check it out. As it, again, it does end this evening, 11:59 p.m. East Coast time. Game number three here between Logan Mize, Bill Caminos on the way. We'll learn a little bit more about Logan Mize very quickly here. The Florida native, 26 years old, making the trip up here with one Invitational Top 8, open ser eight Open Series Top 8. looking for number 9. And if he does make the Top 8, we will challenge his knowledge of the, of the, uh, the Penguin. Captain Penguin. Yeah, we're going to... See, Logan, we're going to challenge him. Especially if, if he wins and it gets a winner's interview with Nick. I'm telling you, oh, Nick... He's getting grilled. Yeah, Nick was adamant. He had, like, seven questions for him. I like this. In Chicago, but Logan lost in the finals, so... Logan, if you make an elimination round, we might just come after you right away. All right, we're polling for you now. Uh, well, I have no rooting interest, but I want Logan to win. Okay, um, we're not polling for you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you know, I try to get excited for things, and you just shoot me down. I'm completely indifferent on what does happen here. I just watch the magic, man. I watch people keep no landers and kill their opponent on turn three. That's what I get to do for a living. And it's fantastic. So every year before Christmas, my parents ask me if there's something in particular that I want. Okay. And I think if I told them, hey, I'd really like, you know, if you got me this magic card, a Black Lotus, they would go and look it up and then just fall over. They, they would be so in shock that one <laughs> card can be worth so much. Yes. It would be a resounding no, I think. Uh, I don't think they would get it for No, me. you don't think so? Mm. You have to work on that relationship a little bit. No, I'm just setting them up to surprise me. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, it's a it's it's a long term thing. Mom, Dad, if you're listening, which, Sur which surprise they are, me, which they are. <laughs> my mom and my dad, which I know aren't listening, just get me a box of Weatherlight again. <laughs> That's awesome. That was my first box. <laughs> That's what got me fully hooked. My dad bought me a box of the local comic book store. He said, "I don't know if this is good or not, but here you go." And I just just cracking packs like a madman That's in my so bedroom. That's great. Yeah. Couldn't get enough. I can't even. There was like, there was like one expensive card in that set. I think. I can't. Well, I was trying to think of cards, and none of them are from Weatherlight. Uh huh. I don't think. Exactly. Exactly. That's the best part. The set's not even good, and I just couldn't get enough of it. What set was Gerard Cavish in? Uh. Um. I don't think Weatherlight. Okay. Um. Volrath. That's not a set. No, 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 the creature. Oh, the, uh, Stronghold almost assuredly. Okay, that's what I thought. Either, either Stronghold or Tempest. I'm almost positive not Exodus. 
Gerard is in that is in that cycle too, I think. Gerard Cashman? I mean, we could probably bring it up. But I can't remember. Th think of the boxes you could have gotten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With all the goodies. Oh, yeah. I think of the box I did get. You got Weatherlight. I did. Hooked. <laughs> Didn't take much. It looks like Bill is going to keep his hand, I think. He, he's on the play here, so we'll see if he can get down before a real hateful card like that can come out of Logan's deck. Time for both players to scry. Oh, Gerard's an Apocalypse. Okay. Oh, also a card from Weatherlight Nullrod. Oh, that's, Which, a, that's a goodie. Yeah, that's a good one for, you know, 12 year old to open. Well, yeah, you've probably hung on to that card for the <laughs> past <laughs> 10 or 15 years, right? <laughs> Mom, Dad, I opened a Null Rod. Yep. This is so exciting. Mom, Dad, don't let me sell this card <laughs> for the next 20 years. <laughs> a Temple of Mystery is where Bill began. Now he has an amulet. It's a good start. There is. Uh oh. He's doing it all uh, again. Uh oh. Ancient Stirrings. Okay. Not, okay. Not that bad. I think Twin is stressful to play against. This is. I couldn't play against this deck. It's just too much. There's a Radiant Fountain. I feel like I'm dead at any point when they yeah. play an oh, amulet. Yeah. I feel like, okay, it's just over, so that's cool. Another amulet. Yep. And, and Logan just gave a little shrug there. Like, you know, what am I going to do? Yeah. Logan going to sacrifice his front catacombs and dig out an old land here. Volrath the Fallen was a nemesis. Okay. Gerard was an apocalypse per invitational champion Eric Smith. He knows. He has to know. That man knows his cards. I agree. And Eric, we thank you for watching. Love it. Me too. Watching Logan Myers, Bill Caminos doing battle here. Gemstone Mine was in Weatherlight. That's a goodie. I'm even richer because I hung on to that too. Oh, yeah. Your portfolio is strong in gemstone mines. <laughs> yes. Here is a Valeria Silvac Outcast. I have so many. We're going to head back Bill's way. Now, keep in mind, last turn, Bill picked up his Simic Growth Chamber yep. as opposed to his Temple of Mystery, which might look a little strange. Well, it probably means he does not have another one of those bounce lands in his hand. Hey, this is, this is fun. fun. He drew a third. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy if you just draw a third amulet and do this a bunch. And he, he's saying, this is enough. Yeah. I believe he's saying. Yeah, I'm going to do, do this three times. Cast Silver Spike. I think Logan's dead. Yes. I think Logan's dead. Yeah, I don't need these. <laughs> There's a Titan. It depends on what's in Bill's hand, but I think I think he's safe to go for Boros Garrison and X, but he might be going for... Okay, he's going to go for these two. Okay. He's going to get a, a metric ton of mana. Yes. He's going to transmute here. Three, six, nine, six. Yeah, do this again. Yep. Okay, this is... Get this. Does he just get to do this again? Because this is nine mana every time he does this, because he gets Growth Chamber plus Teleri West, and that's nine mana. Nine minus three to transmute is six. All right, so remember when we were having a conversation earlier about, like, do they need to ban anything from this deck? And I was like, yeah, it totally doesn't put up that many great results, so it doesn't matter, it hasn't won a tournament yet, blah, blah, blah. This is... There were not that many of these in day two. The five. And... At least one of them is doing very well. There's already one in top eight, and... Oh, is this number two? This... Okay. Well, uh, assuming Bill wins, <laughs> this yeah, would be number two. Well, let's see if he can find a path <laughs> to victory from this position. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure. We'll do this again. Absolutely. I was having a... Logan, stoic as ever. Does not see anything wrong here. Now, all I hope for Bill Caminos' sake is that he does not make an error here, as I think uh, 
I think he's in a <laughs> rel relatively good spot. Yes, he's, he's going to have to pay for a couple packs. He, I hope that he'll have enough mana from all of these primeval titans. But I would say that he is in a relatively good spot. The first one will find these. Yep, haste, 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 haste. <laughs> um, so that's. I appreciate that Logan's keeping the poker face. I do. Up. Just nothing. Not even breaking. Just how are you doing this? Amulets, triggers. Th this is where I'm. I'm ripping my hair out and yeah. knocking my deck onto well, the well, ground. Logan could have a slaughter pact for one of the four titans. Sure. Have you considered that? Oh, he's had enough. Bill Caminos is going to win this match here over Logan Mize. <laughs> Two games to one. Pretty good draw there, Bill. Pretty good draw. Maybe this deck needs addressing. Who knows? Amulet Bloom going to win over Obzon Company. Bill Caminos moves on to twelve and three. That should be good enough for top eight. Oh yeah. So congratulations to him. And I think we might be watching a little more of this deck later this evening.